Hey guys, hey, it's Razor here. So, this is my wedding ring. Uh, I keep it on my keychain a lot of times because at the body shop I snag it all the time. Unfortunately, if you take a look, I'm going to focus in, it is missing two rubies. And the original diamond fell off. Well, my son's good buddy, John Oliver Jr., gave me a diamond. And I had it set. Well, the guy set the darn thing way up in the air. So now it snags on everything. So I got to get my, my wedding band fixed. So I just played around with the gold ingot that I poured the other day. And I am hammering and banging it. I put it on anvil. I've been banging it out flatter and flatter and flatter and flatter. And then I got me one of these fancy things. It's a ring sizer. So I dropped this ring, my ring on there. And it's roughly about a 9. Actually, it's just barely under a 10 is what it is. So, I've been banging this thing around, and there, just barely under a 9. I'm going to pinch that sucker together and try to weld it, and this will be my temporary wedding band until I can get my real wedding band fixed. Made out of Juno Local Gold. Here, let me try to get that on there. It's a little tight right now. Actually, it's real tight. <laughs> But see, I can beat it out bigger. That's one. That's an ounce of ring. That's a one ounce Juno gold nugget ring. <laughs> yeah, damn band. <laughs> Anyhow, later. I figured I'd let you see it. I'm going to weld that crack up here in a minute and then start sizing it some more. And just like that, I messed it up. Talk about a difficult decision. How about you work all that time to find the gold, then refine the gold, and then hammer the gold, and then shape the gold, and then weld the gold and mess it up. And then you gotta take a hacksaw to it and hacksaw part of the gold off of it. <laughs> You can bet your ass I'm trying my darndest to save all those tailings. Well, you old gold hog buddy raises at it again. Man, I pounded that gold out and it was way too wide and way too long, so I had to cut it off. And then I welded it and I put a big bloop on it, so I had to cut that much of it off all the way around the damn thing. And that's a chunk from the thing. And I used another one of those chunks from the other end. Uh, for, uh, and that's how I blooped it. And I ended up welding a little bit of my darn tongs on. So then I had to hacksaw it off. So now I got hacksaw shavings. But I got a ring. I got a ring. Here, let me take it off and I'll show you. And there it is. Look at there. Now the inside is pretty rough. Inside definitely pretty rough. Probably could have done a better weld job. But the other side didn't turn out too bad. There's the weld on the other side. There's the weld on the inside. The other side. But right beside it's kind of got a gooey. <clears throat> and the way I've been buffing it all up making it pretty. I get this chunk of deer hide here. Put the little chunk of deer hide on my leg, like that, and then I take my ring. Where's a where's a dull spot? Uh, let's see. That's a dull spot right there. And just rubbing it back and forth across my leg. Now I did put some uh, uh, metal polish right on the leather, and I just been. 
Going back and forth across my legs, across that leather. And boy, it makes it party. Makes it shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Gold. Mined, refined, <laughs> and pounded into a ring. <laughs> Until I get my wedding band fixed, that's going to work for a wedding band. <laughs> hey, oh, be envious all you women out there. Raises taken. 